So let's start to configure Active Directory AD first. So this is my Active Directory system. So let's go to assign IP address first. So let me go to network interface, change adapter setting and let me go to network adapter IPv4 and type the IP 192.168.100.230 gateway is 192.168.100.254 which we decide dns the same system 100.230 and then 888 is a uh, done okay that's it close close and let me off firewall so firewall is already off and last thing I want to access this device through remote desktop. So let me go to remote desktop, it's allowed, okay. That's it. Because it's small, yeah, this window is small. So now I can access from 100.7 to 100.230. 100.7 100 is my PC. So let me go to remote desktop, type this IP 230 and connect. Okay test one two three this is the password accept this one yes so now i access this uh, system through remote desktop so now it's you know it's a big screen now so i can configure them properly okay so this is our system so click on this one and let me show you by the way we need to follow these steps you need to go to server manager and remove features then this one and these are the steps which we need to follow so let's go back add remove feature this is the first thing and skip this one we don't need this all the time and this one a role base or feature base installation and click next this is our server 100.230 the name is srv it's okay and click next uh, here is active directory domain services and click add features this is the second one okay and click next and click next no need to do anything click next and they say restart so we don't want to restart and click install so these are the steps to install active directory and till that time what we can do uh, let me go to local server if I can let me minimize this one and local server computer name is okay it's a work group right now window firewall is off remote management is enabled remote desktop NIC teaming we don't need and what I need uh, I need to off this one you know internet so it's off okay by default if it is not you can off because it you know is annoying so that's why I need to uh, disable this one and time zone we need to change this time zone to the time zone uh, it's very important later on we will install NTP but anyway let me go to my one uh, let's go to where is Kuwait and Riyadh this one and okay so I change the time zone and I believe it's okay now yes okay that's it so we are waiting for installation let's go back to the installation window yeah that's it and until that's done let me show you which step we need to follow so active directory installation go to add uh, add role and feature then click this one and uh, then select a server from the server pool okay then we choose active directory domain services uh, no need and feature just click next and then active directory domain services no need to do anything just the introduction and confirmation and install so these are the feature we need to install now it's the next step and when it's done okay so it will show you here um, you can click on that one and it can show you some other places I will show you how to promote this server to our domain controller then we are gonna start to uh, install and configure active directory 
so the name which we will use is test.local you can uh, give any name whatever you like okay that's what we need so let's go back still it's taking time so it will install all these features then they will give you an option here and also that option will appear here as well and this notification area so let's see you know now it's here promote this server to a domain controller either if you click on this one it's here as well promote this server to a domain controller it's up to you click on any of these link okay i don't need this one and now it's asking me add a domain controller to existing domain no we need a new one click on new forest and the name which we choose is test dot local that's what we decide our domain name and click next okay next uh, yeah, let's see you know we need to follow these steps domain controller option will come now then additional option then path then review option then prerequisite check and then we gonna install and at the end we will see results so now let's go to domain controller option keep the same and we gonna click next but we need to type a password okay it should be the same either you can give them any other password so i will let's see when it's come up because it's still taking time yeah here you need to type any password a b c at the rate one two three four five and a b c at the rate one two three four five okay and next dns it will install dns because it's required and next video we will configure dns click next okay uh, it will take net bios name which is test you know our domain is test.local so the first part is called netbios domain name so test is okay and then click next it will do automatically no need to type okay then path so these are the logs file these are syslog where the policy etc all these are stored here so these are the directory you can keep them default one if you want you can change and this the review click next now it will check uh, if there is something missing prerequisite okay if nothing is uh, required so then you can install otherwise it will check prerequisite it will show you many free requisite which is required like a admin username admin password should be there and so many other stuff which is required but by default it's okay no issue so let's see is checking the prerequisite so basically we are here okay and our topology the first thing which we want to configure uh, okay yeah so all prerequisite check pass successfully click install okay so let me install it will take some time to install and then it will show you the result and then it's require a reboot and the best thing you know when uh, everything coming here like this one now is coming active directory domain and trust active directory user and computer active directory site and services and there should be policy as well and all these things are coming now because they are going to install so feature install done by the way it's a feature we were installing active directory so let's go back to that one so it will take time let me pause the video and then i will resume when everything is installed so the system will reboot so let's see yes it's rebooted now you need to change the password first so let me it's okay a new password a b c at the rate one two three four five and a b c at the rate one two three four five previous it was test one two three so click next and change the password now login with new password okay now this is a, a domain pc now uh, sorry domain controller is installed now so let's check out and verify before it was uh, like a work group pc okay so if i go to this pc and click properties 
this time it will show you srv test dot local is the computer name and now is active directory and if you go to server manager you can verify from here as well it will install these uh, sorry these tool automatically so let's go to those tool click uh, on tool just one minute it will take some time to show up here so click on tool so you see there is active directory user and computer and policy and everything so let's go to active directory user and computer and we will need few groups so maybe i mentioned here we need four groups employees contractor uh, limited and guest okay and we will create one one user in that group for test purpose so i'm here is my test.local what i can do uh, right click on this one and create a new uh, ou it's better to create a new organization unit and uncheck that one so that we can delete them later on and what i will say suppose is this the name of the and now i will create a four group right click here and group so one is employee employee okay and click ok second we decide click uh, new and group uh, contractor contractor so this is our contractor next group which we will need is limited limited l i m i limited i don't know which name i give them here okay yeah it's limited you can uh, give any name just i'm um, just doing like this way and go to last group which we need as guest because guest is already there so i believe let me make yeah so guest group these are four group now i need four user to add them so click on user and employee e1 and e1 okay next a b c at the rate one two three four five a b c at the rate one two three four five and uncheck this one and this one password never expire user can change password by the way next and create now e1 let me copy this one and let's create c1 and type c1 next and a b c at the rate one two three four five a b c at the rate one two three four five and next and finish c1 is created let me copy this one now we need l1 so l1 and type here l1 and next password a b c at the rate one two three four five a b c at the rate one two three four five and click next and finish and last one we need g1 so let me copy this one again and this time g1 username is g1 login name is g1 password is a b c at the rate one two three four five a b c at the rate one two three four five done so now we have four users c1 we will add them to a group uh, contractor so let me check name contractor and add e1 will we will add them to employees so let me check employees done and g1 we will add them to guest so check name guest g u e s t i think so we have guests are guests i uh, know we have guests so let me change them to add to group g u e s t i don't know why it's going to that one our uh, group is different g g u s t yeah yeah it's okay now so guest and this one is add to group limited and done let's verify let's go to contractor and member so c1 is there let's go to employees and member e1 is there let's go to guest and check g1 is there 
and let's go to limit and l1 is there so these are the uh, test user which we will uh, test them later on and some group which we create and we create one ou so we can uh, distinguish them okay that's done for the active directory these are the active directory stuff which we create and i believe yeah that's it so active directory was installed and now we configure them as well